Hey folks, Chris here with Headcount. Today we're going to focus on a hot topic in compliance, anti-ligature devices. But we're going to focus on one device in particular, anti-ligature fire sprinkler heads. In the last year, we've had numerous hospitals and nursing homes create safe spaces for patients dealing with mental health. NFPA and Joint Commission have entire sections dealing with developing and designing those spaces. A ligature is something used to bind or tie, and the goal is to remove any point of contact that a patient could use to bind or tie or cause self-harm. One area that is often overlooked is fire sprinkler heads. Compounding the ligature potential of a fire sprinkler head, we also have the opportunity for thousands of dollars in water damage due to a broken fire sprinkler head. Enter the institutional sprinkler head. These have been used in hospitals and prisons for years. The manufacturers worked diligently to remove the ligature points to ensure that tampering and activation was very difficult, all the while keeping the same fire protection. Let's take a cursory look at the installation of an institutional head. First, note that on a standard sprinkler head that the escutcheon is installed separately as a separate piece, creating that smoke and heat barrier from the ceiling. With the institutional head, the head and the escutcheon become a locked assembly. Using a special head wrench, you actually tighten the sprinkler head through the escutcheon, creating an anti-ligature assembly and also making this tamper resistant. A couple of quick thoughts about institutional heads from installations we've seen. First of all, installing an institutional head in a dropped ceiling doesn't meet the requirements for anti-ligature. Though visually we've created a safe space, by simply pushing up on the ceiling tile, we reveal the pipe and potential ligature points. Also, installing an institutional sprinkler head on an exposed pipe does not meet the anti-ligature requirements. I, I suppose that we have a more tamper-proof sprinkler head, but the exposed one-inch pipe does present some challenges. Finally, and this one's a bit tricky, a concealed sprinkler head does not meet the requirements for anti-ligature. Though it presents, when installed, flush and safe and tamper-proof, when we simply remove the escutcheon, either by twisting or by pulling it off, we reveal a potential ligature point. The sprinkler head deflector actually drops down and presents itself. If you'd like more information about anti-ligature devices or the sprinkler heads we showed, or if you're just interested in finally getting a handle on your facility's compliance needs, give us a call or drop us a line. Headcount provides a great way to not only track, but perform the inspections, work orders, ILSMs, and keep track of all of your reports. NFPA, Joint Commission, Canadian Fire Code, all baked into the solution. Until next time.